Last Wednesday, Jerome Powell identified problems caused by inflation and emphasized the risks that the labor market may face. Notably, the U.S. unemployment rate is at its lowest level in the last 50 years. It seems that the Fed's chair chose cautionary words to describe the situation. However, recent report unveiled that the unemployment rate jumped to 3.7 percent from 3.5. According to the most pessimistic forecast, the indicator should have increased to 3.6 percent. Most economists supposed that it would remain at the previous level. In other words, high inflation has started influencing the labor market, which is one of the main drivers of the U.S. economic growth. And today, the U.S. dollar will hardly stop falling amid the absolutely empty macroeconomic calendar. The currency is unlikely to show a technical rebound. The greenback will remain under significant pressure exerted by the U.S. midterm elections. The fact is that it's almost impossible to predict the outcome. If Republicans win the race, the White House may face difficulties in promoting this or that economic decision. Since the economic crisis is ballooning and the economy is tapping into recession, the overall situation may deteriorate. The labor market will be damaged more than other sectors. The exerting situation will lead to negative consequences independently of the efficiency and reasonableness of the government's actions. Political conflicts usually overshadow other problems. That's why until the U.S. publishes its election results, the greenback will remain under considerable pressure. On a Friday, the euro-dollar pair closed with a noticeable rise. The euro appreciated by 2.18 percent, which is approximately 210 pips, and this allowed the pair to approach the parity level. If the price consolidates above 1.00, it may continue getting in value. The downward scenario will become possible if the price bounces off the parity level. Meanwhile, the pound dollar pair skyrocketed, recapping all the previous losses. The speculative activity allowed the pair to return to the lower limit of the area of 1.1410 and 1.1525. On a Friday, the pound sterling advanced by almost 2%, which is about 220 pips. The bullish sentiment is still intact. That's why the price consolidation above 1.1410 may spur a rise in the volume of long positions. The pay is also expected to consolidate on the 4 hour chart. However, until the price hours below 1.1410, it has every chance to bounce. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading session.